so i set a goal for myself at the beginning of this year to win one tennis tournament I set so I set a goal for myself at the beginning of the year to win one recreational tennis tournament and yeah it seems like it's a big dream some of you might know I'm a huge tennis fan and a lover of tennis I play recreational tennis and uh, yeah I'm not a pro I'm a recreational tennis player meaning that I mostly play tennis for fun but at the same time I do have like that competitive side so I try to enter into tennis tournaments whenever I get the chance I've played tennis I've played tournaments in in Lagos I've played some I've played once at Abuja Stadium they have the best hard courts in my opinion by the way and I've played at uh, Tesano Sports Club in Accra, Ghana. And uh, yes, they, they beat me Woto Woto. All this, all this tennis that I'm playing, like, when am I going to win? So yeah, I have this crazy dream of winning a tournament, a tennis tournament. Um, and um, so far, I've not been able to achieve that, but in the process of you know entering all of all these tournaments trying to like uh, up my skill level i've noticed some improvements but there are obviously areas that i do need a lot of work for example i feel like my my service is super inconsistent my forehand is a my forehand is really really not good and um, the only thing I think I have going for me is my backhand. I have a pretty decent backhand and a slice. Like the sliced backhand is pretty good. And um, usually when I get into tournaments, that is what I fall back on. That is what I rely on. But in the past couple of months, you know, I've been working on myself, um, trying to improve that uh, trying to improve that forehand and just generally trying to improve my game and um, it might seem as a surprise to some people because they might just know that i have the creative side and they're wondering oh, where does this recreational tennis side come from the truth the, the truth of the matter is as a creative as somebody who is almost per per perpetually at my desk 247 almost every day it is important for me to have something that takes me out of that place and for me tennis tennis is it is a is an awesome game that combines so many things it combines um it combines running it combines hand-eye coordination it combines uh, tactics and strategy so you are both working on your mind and your body all at the same time granted I've, I've had a lot of injuries and whatnot but like i really love the game i love playing the game and um, it's something that i want to, to like you know keep on playing keep on improving and uh, you know hopefully win something in in some time to come So the question becomes, why am I even sharing all of this? So uh, I think as I think it's kind of my way of wanting to be uh, accountable. Granted, I know I'm not. I'm pretty inconsistent with this content creation and posting thing these days because there's you know there's the work and life uh, balance game that keeps that keeps going on, but. 
but yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I, I will try my very best to keep like posting uh, videos like this where I'm showing, you know, talking about tennis and um, other, you know, fun related stuff or other activities, you know, to show that life is not really all about work. The purpose of doing work is so that you can get to live this life that you are, that we are, you know, working so hard for. So yeah, in, in this particular video, I was just hitting with, I was just hitting with the, the ball boy, you know, trying to work on my forehand, trying to improve my game. And that's just the thing with the tennis, especially on a recreational level. You are constantly learning, constantly improving. Um, and I would say that recording myself playing has just um, opened my eyes to a lot of things. There are a lot of things that that my coaches were always complaining about that I was like, nah, they don't know what they're saying. But now that I'm seeing it on camera, I'm like, oh, okay, the take back on that, my uh, serve, I'm not going all the way back, I'm not hitting the ball high enough. Um, all of all those technical things, like you can see from the video, like, Yeah, it's it's recording kind of like gives me some level of uh, what I say. Uh, it gives me something to look back on when I go back home and I'm trying to review how what I what I was playing, where did I make mistakes, and um, yeah, because a lot of the, like in those tournaments that I mentioned that. Um, and oh, for the tournaments, the highest level I've ever reached is to the semi-final. I've never gotten to the final, but um, I think there are like there's like one or two tournaments left for this year. And um, now that I'm doing this recording of the thing, I would be sharing my progress as I prepare, as I train, and uh, really, really work on my uh, tennis. I could even share like some of the stuff that I use, like the rackets and um, it's a sport I would encourage many more people to get into. It's a really good workout, really good exercise, gets you moving, you burn a lot of um, calories playing, uh, playing tennis. And, and I also like want more people to, you know, come in so that there'll be more people that can at least beat can at least beat there are some people on this app that are owing me a game that i know that i can beat i can beat one day there are people that i know that i can definitely beat every day and they just keep you know shine away from me and i don't know anyways if anybody wants to challenge me if you know a court a free court i'm available <laughs> <laughs> See me setting myself up. So in another video, I will I'll talk about maybe talk about the gear that I use, or I will just show you know uh, more uh, of my uh, tennis journey, and uh, because I really really want to improve, I can talk about like injuries that I've had or and possibly ways that you can also avoid having those injuries, especially if you get just getting into tennis. And um, that initial hurdle of you know you you get to be very bad at the beginning, like like super bad at the beginning. I don't expect to to play tennis that looks like Novak Djokovic or Nadal or Federer. Just it's it's a game that you know you improve with time and consistency and some level of patience. And so. So yeah, yeah, this was this is like the first installment of my of, you know, a will I say a hidden away aspect of my life and um, I hope to share more. I hope to share more and really encourage really encourage you know, get off this app and go outside and move, move.
Like I'm losing now. Whoa. Novak is the real goat. Novak is the real goat. Yes, I said it.